So we have time for just one one more question. Um, yes. Um, yeah. You gotta ask me this time. Yeah. I, <laughs> no. Can I have to answer? <laughs> yeah, David answers. <laughs> no, this is for you, Noam. Uh, you said something before along the lines of you don't feel like as an Israeli blogger uh, comfortable commenting on the social issues of Palestinian society. Yeah. yeah. At the same time, don't you feel like some of these issues, such as the fact that so many Palestinians praise suicide bombers as martyrs, are part of the reason why Israel needs to occupy and needs to do things like build a security fence? I'm going to say something that would really alienate you guys, and that's the first suicide bomber was Jew, his name was Baruch Goldstein, and he did it in the uh, tomb of Patriarch in, in 94 to, to, to ruin the peace process, and he, and he, and he had a partial success. So, and, and he has a lot of people who idolize him in Israel right now. Both societies has their fault. I'm interested in speaking about Israel and about my responsibility in his, as an Israeli. My responsibility is to correct the wrongdoing of, of my government. I think, and, and if it's the last question, I think that not only as American, but as human being, I think I cannot separate the occupation from anything else in Israel. I love cinema better than politics, but I want to talk about politics because the occupation is one of the worst crimes of our lifetime. I really think so. I served there, I know that, and that's the reason I started everything I do right now. I don't get paid, and that's something we, we tend to forget about bloggers. They don't get paid. I do it at my own time. The magazine we started, we invested the money of our own pocket because we wanted to approach people and tell them about what we see. And, and so I'm emotionally and politically totally committed to correcting what I see as a crime done on behalf of my country. And that's what motivates me. I also want to, I also, I also want to relate to one word which Noam said, which is occupation. People might think that we Israelis, we are in love with occupation, so no. We want to put an end to occupation, we want to see how the occupation is, is gone, is coming to an end. And the only question is under which circumstances. Uh, as you mentioned uh, before, yes, security is an issue, yes it is. But when it comes to Israel, when it comes to the official policy of Israel, both sides, right as left, we want to put an end to occupation. Uh, we think occupation is wrong. We think occupation should come to an end. And I think Prime Minister, the, 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 the previous Prime Minister of Israel, uh, Sharon, said it with his own words. Occupation is bad. We want to put an end to occupation. This was the basic uh, for, for, for the disengagement. So therefore, um, no one in Israel wants to continue with the occupation and I hope that sooner rather than later we'll see the end of occupation. <laughs> I want to just thank everyone for coming and give a big uh, thank you and round of applause.